So this is by far one of the coolest and most diverse clutches that we've hashed out all season. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jace from Gen Z Reptiles. My brother Josh is behind the camera and we run Gen Z Reptiles out of Eastern Iowa. And speaking of Iowa, today I'm rocking the best dress balls t-shirt. So that's Troy and Lisa Schroeder out of Fort Dodge, Iowa. Check out their socials on the back if you don't already know them or follow them. Definitely check them out. They got some sweet stuff and more importantly, they're just amazing people. That being said, we have a clutch update and this is our sugar clutch. So there's several genes at play. We're gonna reintroduce the parents quick and then we're gonna show the babies. Make sure you stick around for the whole video. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. So if you guys have been watching our channel, you'll know that this boy's name is Luca and he is our Enchi Pastel Sugar. Definitely one of the coolest looking snakes that we have around here. Um, Got a nice little smiley face right there. <laughs> anyway, he just, the, the high whites on this guy are absolutely nuts. And it does help that he has the pastel and the enchi in there. That does help bring up the high whites. But as you guys will see shortly, that passes down to his babies quite well. So we're super excited to show the babies because we got several different combinations um, that include the sugar. But here's the dad and then we'll show the mom in a second. And of course, every time we film, we at least have to have one snake in shed. This girl is Harley, and you can see, see her eyes are in blue right now. She is a fire spinner, so fire spider pinstripe. And I want you guys to take notice of the high white on her sides as well. We have a baby in the clutch that we're trying to figure out if it has sugar or not. And so uh, probably need your guys' help to figure it out. Um, at this point in time, it's a possible sugar, we don't know. but. Remember the white, how high that comes up, and help us out later in the video when we show you the baby that we're talking about. All right, you guys, we're gonna start from least stacked and go up to the most stacked. And usually we do a couple of clutches in one go, but this clutch is so awesome, we thought it deserved a video of its own. Uh, right now, you're looking at a fire spider. So it's a little bit brighter on its back than the normal spider and um, it's obviously carrying that spider pattern. And I don't have really much else to say about that guy, but he is a good looking snake. So this one right here is a pinstripe pastel Enchi, also known as the Enchi Lemon Blast. And this guy has some awesome patterning. The Enchi reacts really cool with pinstripe by taking the reduced patterning and making it basically vertical stripes over the back. And another thing that it does is it brings us super bright oranges on the sides so that the blushing is like neon orange. So with this one, we're looking at a dragonfly. So instead of Enchi, we have fire, but we have the pinstripe and the pastel in this combination. So you can see um, it definitely has that yellow from the pastel coloration. The head turns almost to like a purple, and so that is kind of the interaction between the fire and the pastel gene. And then this pinstripe patterning is very obvious on the sides. And one thing I realized is that I switched up order on y'all. I'm actually saving all the sugar stuff for last, so hope you stay tuned for that. But we're going from uh, non-sugar to sugar. <laughs> So with that order in mind, that puts this snake smack dab in the middle. And this is the one I said, remember the mom's whites on the sides. So the mom did have some uh, high whites creeping up, but I don't think quite as high as this baby does. And so that's why we're unsure exactly if this baby is carrying the sugar gene or not. For sure though, we have that uh, very reduced pattern and so that would be pinstripe and then even more skinny lines than usual means that there's the spider in there and this one's pretty cool because it has like these orange highlights around the dark lines um and then obviously on the sides you got high white so it could be a lower expression sugar or it's just a um, very good looking fire spinner let us know what you guys think so if you guys watch the egg cutting video for this we actually misidentified this one in the video thinking it was a sh uh, sugar enchi spider. But after it came out, we realized there's no spider gene in this. This sugar line is just like ridiculous. And so um, in combo with the enchi, it just brings those high whites way up. And you can see that it just leaves that little 
black um, banding on the dorsal, and it's absolutely stunning snake. This is probably like up there with all of the coolest snakes that I've ever seen. Um, I love it. I, unfortunately, we have too many males, and so we have to be incredibly selective about the male holdbacks and the sugars that we hit in this clutch are all males. So that leaves us in this really disappointing place in terms of progressing our collection. But the cool thing about that is that um, we're super happy that other people are gonna get to work with this line of sugar because it's like a dream. It's super high wise. This is what I think everybody strives for when they think of sugar or calico. So this one is similar to the dad. Luca was the pastel enchi sugar. And this adds fire on top of it. So it takes that combination and brightens it up even more. And as you can see, just like the last one, the whites are incredibly high on this. And they look a little bit um, maybe peach toned right now, but as the sugar ages, it's just like a fine wine getting better and better as it ages. So the peach and um, white looking areas will get even more crisp white. The contrast will be even greater as it ages. And last but certainly not least, we have a stacked sugar combo. Josh, help me out. What are we looking at here? So I believe that this is a dragonfly and cheese sugar. So that's going to be the pastel, pinstripe, fire, and cheese sugar. So five gene animal right here. And he just looks insane. Absolutely insane. So he has that beautiful gold band and it's solid along the back inside of the pinstripe. And then when we get down to the sides, you have kind of a gradient. So it starts with that orange up above and it's just like smoldering orange. And then it gets down to that brighter white at the bottom. And that whole area is gonna continue to brighten as it ages. This is like definitely one of the coolest babies that we hatch. And like I said, unfortunately we hit so many male sugars in this clutch. So it's unfortunate for us, but um, I think somebody is gonna be super happy to add sugar. There's a lot of people that are looking for sugar and it's just hard to find the best example. And we, we waited a long time on the sugar gene actually because we wanted to make sure that we found like the best example we could find. And we lucked out with this boy, Luca, and we're hoping to produce more sugar down the road, but this is the only sugar clutch that we'll have this year. So yeah, this is probably the coolest baby out of the entire clutch. So this is by far one of the coolest and most diverse clutches that we've hashed out all season. For me, it's the oranges. There's a lot of bright orange that comes out in snakes and that's a really desirable trait. I think that's just super cool to see in snakes. And then the other thing is that high white, another super desirable trait. Looks super unique and even um, to beginner's eye or professional's eye, that combo in and of itself, anything with this high white sugar just looks awesome. What'd you guys think? Pretty sweet, huh? So like I mentioned, we wanted to hold back some sugar females, but unfortunately we didn't hit any sugar females, which means that this opens up the doors for a few lucky people to get their hands on this really nice line of sugar. Be on the lookout on our morph market. They'll be up once they've had um, three to five meals, depending on how strongly their feeding response comes in. Uh, that being said, I think that really wraps it up. Oh, one more thing. Let us know what you think about that one baby that we showed in the middle. Is it just a fire spinner or does it have that copy of sugar in it? And with that being said, I think that's all I have for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody's having a great season and we'll see you guys next time.